This is the Language Acquisition Unit 0 Introduction Video 2 for the second grade. If you're ready, please take out your theme and rubric. Okay, the first part says watch intro video 2 on YouTube. That's this video. Good job. So the first thing we need to do is to choose a topic. You will turn in a presentation or a pamphlet. Remember, you can use a computer to do the presentation or you can use paper to do the pamphlet. Either one is okay. So let's choose a topic for our presentation or pamphlet. On Monobox, you can find this uh, list of topics. So there's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So that's eight topics that you can choose from. Let's read this together. This is an individual, individual project. Ah, it's not a group project. I will be working by myself. Each student will choose one topic. Ah, okay. Each student. So one student, one topic. You will choose your topic with the students in your Mana Box discussion group. Ah, in Mana Box, you have a discussion group. There are about eight or nine students in your discussion groups. Please talk with them and decide your topic. Each group must use all of the topics. Ah, okay. So, for example, if Mr. Siemens and Ms. Tensaka and myself, we are in a group, if Mr. Siemens chooses the statement of inquiry and Ms. Tensaka chooses the rubric, then I can't choose A for my topic. I can't choose G for my topic. But I can choose B, C, D, E, F, or H. Hmm. I think ATL, I don't know much about ATL. So I want to learn more about this topic. So I will choose B. Let's check this out. Ready to go? Your presentation or pamphlet must show one, two, three. Okay, I won't do a presentation. I will do a pamphlet. My pamphlet, the topic is ATL. I chose my topic. But my pamphlet must show what ATL is. My pamphlet must show why ATL is important. And my pamphlet must show my own idea for how students or my classmates should approach ATL. So I will do the next part of the unit, but I will remember these three points. Okay, let's go back to the theme and rubric. My topic is ATL. Next, I should read LA newspaper articles. Ah, they're on Monobox. LA, remember, is language acquisition. So, go to Monobox and download the newspaper articles. It looks like this. This, this is the Language Acquisition Times. It's a newspaper. So I must read this newspaper. There's many different articles. 
But not everything is important. For example, my topic is ATL. Let's read this article's title. New teachers in Mois. New teachers in Mois. Maybe this is an interesting article, but my topic is ATL. So maybe I don't need to read this. I can skip it. What is a gra gr grasps, grasps statement? What is a grasps statement? I don't think this is about ATL, so I can skip this also. Like this, please look at the newspaper title and think about if that article has information for your topic or not. Oh, this says ATL, your keys to success. I should read this article. It's probably very important for me. Okay, everyone, I will read the newspaper. Okay, everyone, I finished reading the newspaper. Now, I'm going to think about my topic. In order to do this, we should use this ATL. This ATL is called Consider Skills Development. So in here, we will think about how our skill is developing. The grammar that we can use is I should blah blah blah. The teacher should blah blah blah. When the teacher students blah blah blah, the teacher students should blah blah blah. So how can I use this? Let's try. So, I looked in this article. This article talked about ATL. So, hmm, let's see. What was the grammar again? I should, the teacher should. Okay, I should, the teachers, well, the teacher, right? This article said there's three parts about ATL. So. The language acquisition teachers should show the three parts of ATL. It's the category, the name, and the grammar. Well, in a different article, it said that students should set a goal for their ATL. So, I should set a goal for my ATL. And what was the last one? It said, when the teacher's students blah blah blah, the teacher's students should blah blah blah. Mm, what does that mean? So, some articles said that the, there are two kinds of ATL. So, when the LA teachers introduce ATL, students should understand the two ATL types. If students don't understand, students should ask a question. So, like this, please read the article and after you finish, use this grammar to consider your skills development. Please use this ATL after you finish reading the newspaper articles. Okay, I finished reading the newspaper articles and I used this ATL. So, I'm going to come up here and give myself a check because I finished. The next thing is make presentation or pamphlet. Okay, I decided that I would make a pamphlet. Now I have some information about ATL from the newspaper article. 
If you want a challenge, please check out Monobox for a list of links. There's more information, but you don't have to. That's only if you want a challenge. I have enough information and I don't want the challenge. I don't have enough time. So I'm going to start making my pamphlet. Okay, I got feedback and advice after I finished my pamphlet and I tried to make it one more time. Here is my finished product. This is my pamphlet about ATL. There's three parts to it. If you open it up one time, it looks like this. If you open it up one more time, it looks like this. ATL can help us to be a better learner for life. So this is my product. This is my pamphlet. So, now that I finished, I can come back here and give myself a check. Next, it says, do self-evaluation. The self-evaluation is also on Monobox. So please go to Monobox and download the self-evaluation if you haven't yet. The self-evaluation looks like this. Make sure that you can double click up here, put your student number and your name here. So this is the self-assessment. So you will assess yourself. There's A, B, C, and D. Each criteria has a self-assessment and a teacher's assessment. You will write your assessment in this area. After you finish, you will turn this document in on Monobox to your teacher and your teacher will write their assessment here. So please don't write in the teacher's assessment. Please write in the self-assessment area only. How do you write your self-assessment? That's a good question. Let's read together. Ready, go. Self-assessment. Write your self-assessment in the ap appropriate box. In red letters, write what you would like to change or what you would like to do in the future. Okay, for example, for A, if I think I got a 4, then I will write my self-assessment in the appropriate box. Appropriate box means the box you think you got. So I think I got a 4, so I will write my self-reflection here. In red letters, write what you would like to change or what you would like to do in the future. So I will write my goal for next time in red letters here. So I will do that now. Okay, I finished writing my self-evaluation. I wrote what score I think I should get and the reason in black. And then I wrote what I want to do in the future or what I want to change in red. So for A, I think I should get a four. I used one hour to watch the videos. I focused very hard and I didn't stop. So that's why I think I should get a four. Next time though, I didn't ask the teacher about the things that I didn't understand. On the video, I didn't understand 50%. So I can't get a five. So next time, I will ask the teacher questions about the video on Monobox. If I didn't understand something, I should ask the teacher about that. On Monobox, we can ask questions to the teacher. For B, I think I should get a 5 right here. Remember, 
I had my dictionary next to me whenever I went on Monobox to do the discussion. So whenever a student or a teacher used a word that I didn't understand, I was ready to look up the word. So I think I should get a five. I understood about half, but I didn't understand more than half. So I think it wasn't a six. I think it was about a five. So next time, if a classmate or a teacher uses something, a word that I don't understand, I think I want to check with them directly. So next time, I think I will do that. I will send a message to my classmate to check what they mean. For C, I think I did very good on this. I think I should get a 7 because I shared my ideas on Monobox many times. Remember, I checked Monobox every day. That was my plan. Twice a day, I would check Monobox and every... Well, because I checked Monobox twice every day and every day I shared my ideas once on Monobox. Uh, there's no space to write my red uh, my idea in red over here, so I put my red comment in the same box. So next time, I want to make sure that I'm sharing my ideas and not only giving, not only sharing my ideas, but also giving comments to classmates. Uh, some of my classmates tried very hard and wrote a comment. Uh, they shared their ideas, but nobody gave a response to them. So next time, I want to uh, share my ideas and give comments to my classmates. Oh, that's a really good idea. Uh, I also think blah, blah, blah. Or uh, that was a good idea, but I think like this. What do you think? So I want to give comments to my classmates next time. And for D, I think I should get a four. My pamphlet, I tried to make it easy to understand. I got advice from my friends and family, but Five and six is my teacher can understand my presentation or pamphlet. And seven to eight is my teacher and my classmates can understand my pamphlet. So next time I want to get, I want to check with my teacher and I want to check with my classmates and get feedback from them also. I think getting advice is a good idea. And I got it from my friends and family, but next time I want to get it from my friends, my family, my teachers and my classmates. If I do that, I think I can get a 7 to an 8. Okay, I'm finished with my self-assessment. But the last part is the statement of inquiry. Write the final version of your statement of inquiry in the box below. That's this box here. So now we're finished with the self-assessment. But next we must come back. We're not finished with this yet. So. Let's go back to the theme and rubric. I finished my self-evaluation. I still have one more thing to do on that document, but I finished the self-evaluation. Next, I will reflect on the statement of inquiry. Do you remember this statement of inquiry? At the beginning of the unit, you made a statement of inquiry. And throughout the unit, you made a plan and you should have answered the conceptual questions and the debatable questions. I answered each question each day. So now I'm finished with these questions. Now I'm going to think about how my understanding has changed throughout this unit. At the beginning, this statement of inquiry was my idea. Patterns make a system that has the purpose of getting better. But after answering these questions and making my pamphlet and doing the research and taking the quiz, my understanding has changed. So now I will reflect and write down my ideas. Okay, I wrote down some of my ideas. So patterns make a system. Patterns 
make a system. Uh, a system is made up of patterns. Yes, I think that was the correct idea. I think that's the same. That hasn't changed. But the purpose, what's the purpose? What's the purpose of a system? Is the purpose of a system to get better? Before, I thought, get better because of this icon. But now, I don't think so. Uh, specifically, in this unit, I used the systems of language acquisition to learn deeper. So this question, I thought the purpose was actually to learn deeper. So I think this is a key point, and it, I realize now that my understanding has changed. So I don't think the purpose of a system is to get better. I think the purpose of a system is to make knowledge and understanding deeper. So I'm going to rewrite my statement of inquiry. I'm going to copy and paste it here. The purpose of a system is to make knowledge and understanding deeper. So patterns make a system that has the purpose of not getting better, of deep. Oh, deep is an adjective, but I can make it a verb like this, deepen. Purpose of deepening knowledge and understanding. This is how my understanding has changed throughout this unit. What about you? How has your understanding changed? Okay, so I finished reflecting on the statement of inquiry. However, I haven't finished yet. Don't forget, copy your final statement of inquiry, go to your self-assessment and copy and paste your final statement of inquiry. Uh, you will submit this document to your teacher. So please show your teacher your statement of inquiry. Okay. Now I finished reflecting on the statement of inquiry. So I'll give myself a check. Okay, after you finish watching this intro video, you can give yourself a check here. And after you turn in your pamphlet your, or your presentation and your self-evaluation on Monobox, you can give yourself a check here also. Remember, if you have any questions, you can ask your teachers on Monobox in the discussion group. So this last part, I will turn in my pamphlet. This is my pamphlet. I took a picture of it. So I will turn in these three pictures of my pamphlet and I will turn in my self-evaluation document on Monobox. Then I'm finished. Okay, everyone, looking forward to seeing your self-assessments and your projects. Bye-bye now.